Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and I'm covering with you Tom, some major updates here today. We will look into a massive contract, a massive order coming from Hertz. Um, we will look into that. Furthermore, updates from the new battery cells because Panasonic had a presentation and we will look into numbers in the United States and starting today, first of all, with this insane number of uh, cars that Hertz actually bought from Tesla. It is a total of 100,000 Model 3s. So we have to look into in some of the numbers here and we will um, have to kind of analyze what this means for Tesla. So the total value is around $4.2 billion. Um, based on 100K, um, this means that um, Hertz decided to take the Model 3 standard range and that they didn't get any discount. They just took the order price itself. Um, furthermore, this would mean if they don't have any special deal with Tesla, that all of its cars will be white because white is the free color we have currently. And furthermore, um, this also means that Tesla will have a lot of work to do. Um, 100,000 cars are right now not that many if you take that percentage wise. Um, but if you look into the production of next year and we are looking at more than a million cars sold, it is pretty much 10% of orders already filled again. And this is just insane. They will start selling the cars by end of this um, year and it will start in November. And this means that we will have the first cars coming to Hertz in November for its customers. And the entire order will be finished by end of 2022. So this is the first time a rental company um, had such a big order. It is the biggest, biggest order ever taken in the EV market when it comes to um, a company really taking care of that. We do know that Amazon ordered a lot of vans um, at Rivian, but of course Rivian is part of Amazon. Amazon invested into Rivian, that's a different situation. Here it is a purely uh, business to business model here and, and this um, company decided to do that. And I'm really excited to see what this will um, have an effect on different companies, other car companies, car rental companies seeing that maybe customers will choose Hertz because they want to drive a Model 3 instead of other companies that don't have one. So it could get a domino effect, maybe a Europe car going inside this market as well, maybe six going in this market bigger than they um, already um, started to do so. So it is really great news and we will have to see um, what further details we will see in the coming weeks coming out. Another story we have to talk about as we're looking into Austin is the numbers in the United States. So we do know that Tesla sold around 241,000 cars in the third quarter, a record number. Um, and we now know that Tesla sold in its home market 100,000 cars. So in the United States, Tesla is further growing and that will continue with Austin um, on the brink of being ready to produce the first cars. So if we compare that, especially for example to the leading German car makers where my home country is, my the car makers that we are all proud of here in Germany, um, we must admit that Tesla is already crushing the numbers here. We have VW as a um, key um, brand they only have 79,000 cars sold in the third quarter. And BMW at 76, Mercedes being at a lower point already. Um, these numbers show that Tesla has already exceeded the expectation. They have been um, passing those brands in the United States. And furthermore, they are now at the 11th spot when it comes to all brands and all kinds of cars sold. There is Subaru um, a bit further up at 140,000 cars at the 10th spot. This is just a question of time till Tesla will take over that spot. So Tesla is really going into the market here. Um, they are going one step after the next one. And I think once Austin is ramping up and is fully ramped up, um, there will be no question anymore that Tesla might already um, be in the top five or top six easily. 
Um, so that is just the start and it is really, really nice to see that Tesla is able to gain market share, gain more positions in the general market, not only in the EV space. When it comes to the EV market, there is no one even close to dominate as Tesla in the United States. Another topic I want to talk about with you is the new batteries. We do know that Panasonic as a longtime partner of Tesla um, is currently in a pilot situation. They have done a pilot um, line of the new battery cells in Tokyo, Japan. And this is what they presented in the presentation, um, which was held in Japan. It was based on Wall Street Journal and Reuters. Um, they were also talking about the size, the capabilities of the battery, which are matching with what Tesla has talked about in its presentation at Battery Day. What I really find interesting is that after battery day, after those new battery cells were presented, uh, a lot of battery companies as well, um, CATL, LG and others out there as we are looking into China here right now, um, and they were really cautious. There was nothing, um, not a lot of news, not a lot of presentations, how fast they want to adapt to the new batteries, um, if they want to um, deliver them fast for Tesla. And Panasonic is the first one where we really know that they want to move forward. They want to do the pilot line. They have one right now and they want to now listen up to do a test production um, by March 2022. And this is really important because we do know that the test production um, for Tesla in the uh, for the Fremont factory in California is already working pretty well. And the size is not small. And if um, Panasonic is able to make a test production and the quality of the batteries is very good, um, then we could see further capacity coming from Panasonic next year. There were no big details where the Panasonic test line will be, where they want to do that and how fast they think they are able to ramp up the production. For me personally, I think it is really important that we do see that Panasonic as one of the long-term partners is trying to deliver um, those new batteries to test as well. And this is um, on top of the batteries coming from Grünheide next year, coming from um, Austin next year, and um, hopefully maybe more batteries coming from Nevada as well. And then the strong partnership with CATL and LG allow Tesla to further grow in the coming years. And this is a really good sign. And as you're looking at the parking spot here, we do see a lot of cars out there. I mean, I can just repeat that. It is just insane how fast Tesla is producing cars in Shanghai right now. So I want to thank you for your time, for your patience and being here every day um, if you are. And if you're not, um, I'm happy to have you here today. And I wish you all a wonderful day. So take care and thank you very much for being here. Thank you.